Hello, in this video you will learn how to run the Java program directly from source code. I am Nam Haming from CodeJava.net. Perhaps you are very familiar with the traditional way to run the Java program, which has two steps. Uh, the first step is to compile the Java source file using the Java C command, and the second step is to use the Java command to run the program. You know this two step traditional way of running a Java program that uh, has only a single source file is somewhat robust and uh, unnecessary. So since JDK 11 there is a much simpler way to run a Java program that is contained in a single source file using the Java command like this Java and then followed by the name of the Java source file in directory like this. You know this feature is called launch single source code programs available in Java 11 and I think it helps uh, learning Java programming uh, easily uh, running a simple a small Java program within a single source code file is simple and easy. Now let me show you some examples of running a Java program directory from source file. First, run a hello world program and run a program and pass the arguments to the program and run source file with package name and run a program that depends on an external library. You see, uh, this is a classic hello world Java program that prints a hello world string to the console. And this is a command prompt and let type Java dash version and you can see I'm using Java version 14. Of course you can use any Java version uh, greater than or equal to Java 11 that supports uh, running Java program directory from a single source file. Uh, change the directory to the example directory. And you see I have uh, some uh, Java source files here. And now let's uh, run uh, the hello world Java program directory from source file using the Java command java hello.java like this. Enter. And you see it uh, prints hello world. Very convenient, easy to use for a small program for uh, uh, beginner learning Java. Last is a single command like this, uh, Java, and then followed by the source uh, code uh, file name. Instead of the traditional two steps, compile and run. And let's uh, see the generated uh, dot class files. And you see, uh, no generated uh, dot class file because the Java compiler uh, compiles and generates the dot class file in memory. Now let's run a second program which uh, calculates the sum of numbers passed into the program's arguments. Here you see. Java sum and then um, pass the arguments to this program. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 20, uh, 100. We got an error here. Uh, sorry. Mm, we need to specify the uh, source name Java some dot Java and then uh, passing the uh, arguments to the program, and it will compile the program in the memory and run the program. You can see the sum is one hundred forty-one. 
120 okay it's correct what about uh, class uh, declare in a package like this package dot code java package dot code java and in this case we run the program uh, as normal directory and now uh, we specify just two number 129 You see, it prints uh, 129, and you see no dot class uh, generated. The Java compiler uh, generates the dot class file in memory. Now let's uh, run the Java program uh, that depends on an external library. You see this. Uh, See a database program that connects to uh, MySQL database and uh, read all rows from the uh, customer table and print the um, details of each row. Now let's run this program. Java and database and not Java. And you see, we got an uh, error uh, java.sql.sql uh, SQL exception, no suitable driver file for ZDBC database URL. And we need to uh, uh, specify the, the argument to the Java compiler to run this program with an external library. You can see in this uh, directory, I have the jar file for MySQL connector Java the JDBC driver for MySQL here you see and uh, let's uh, run this program passing the uh, argument to refer to this uh, external library Java using the uh, dash cp and then the jar file name and then the source uh, file name database not java and you see it prints uh, the rows from the database so that you have learned how to run the java program directory from source file using uh, java command and followed by the source file name Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment and share this video. Thank you.